Hey everyone, I'm Tim, aka Tim084, and I just wanted to make a quick little video about a package I got today. I've been really excited for it. I've been waiting maybe a little over a year, I think, for this, and uh, let's just jump right into it. Holy Yankovic. So this is the Weird Al Yankovic vinyl uh, collector set. Um, made in a replica of his accordion. So I've been, I'm a huge Weird Al fan. I've been really excited about this. And uh, let's just open it up, see, uh, see what it has in there. Um, I honestly can't really remember what's in it. That's how long ago I ordered it. Um, I'm a huge, huge vinyl collector. I do have all his uh, vinyl already that he, that's been released. Um, the only thing not in this collection though is the uh, Peter and the Wolf album. So Weird Al Yankovic and Wendy Carlos, she's also the composer of movies like Tron. Uh, they did a Peter and the Wolf humorous take on the piece and the narration, as well as doing their own take on the music piece of Carnival and the Animals and the poems. So they call it Carnival of the Animals Part 2. But anyway, this, this was released on CBS Records, completely different from his um, label. So that's why it's not part of this. But let's take it out. Man. This is really cool. My dad's actually a professional accordion player. Well, hasn't, hasn't played in years. But um, so I always played around with his accordion. So it's really cool seeing, seeing the detail that goes into uh, into the set because, yeah, they pretty much nailed it. And I especially love the token arrow that that's on Weird Al's accordion that you see in music videos and concerts and everything. So this is really, this is really cool. Let's start off with this. I do remember this. So this book only comes with the squeeze box. That's right, that's what they call this. The, uh, the Weird Al Yankovic squeeze box, the complete works of we're now. I won't. I won't get into this book, but oh, very cool. So there's his. There's his accordion. That's the replica of, right there. Yeah. So yeah, very cool. Um, very cool layout. Yeah, I look forward to reading this. This is cool. Has his record label Waymobi in there. So right here is a strap. You can open it. Oh. Yeah, that's that. That's all you need. You don't need to open anymore. Here we go. His first album, Weird Al Yankovic. So I have the vinyl of this. It looks like the cover is a little, little zoomed in. I'll have to get the other vinyl to kind of check it. But it looks, but it looks like it's kind of cropped. Oh, that's very nice. So they put the album art on the, on the sticker. Oh, so squeeze about the complete works of Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah, so it looks like with just these records, sometimes they like release sets and then they'll sell them individually later on. But no, it looks like these are all just specifically for for this set. I'm not gonna go through every every album in here. So yeah, I got Weird Al, I got In 3D, Dare to Be Stupid, Polka Party, Even Worse, UHF. But this is why I, I really wanted it. So, off the deep end on vinyl now. That's really cool. The cover, they must have just taken the CD image and blown it up. It's a little fuzzy. Yeah, see, you got the artwork on there. And the, the official squeeze box label for side B. Alpalooza. Bad hair day. with scissors. Boodle hat, which you got a Grammy for for this one. And something really exciting inside. You now there's no there's no sleeves or anything extending the artwork that does come with the CDs. Straight out of Linwood. And then yeah 
then Apocalypse. So I have the original vinyl release of this, but yeah, they they redid it. The la the labels match with the rest of the collection. But then a big selling point was this last final medium <laughs> medium rarities. So this has a whole bunch of cool B-sides that I actually have a lot of because I've collected Weird Al CD EPs for years. There's also Dr. Demento um, basement tapes, which was releases that he, that he could only get joining the Dr. Demento fan club. If that, it probably has a more sillier name. I can't remember. My Bologna capital single version. I think that was on his Al in the Box box set. Um, the Yoda demo, which is on one of those basement tapes. I remember that. Pac-Man, which is a parody of the Beatles. Tax-Man, that's, um, that's on one of the basement tapes. Did we soup an instrumental? I think that's on the Bad Hair Day EP. <laughs> I've heard this before, Jurassic Park, which is the um, Japanese translation of Jurassic, of the parody Jurassic Park that, um, that Weird Al actually sings. Headline News, which was only released for the Weird Al Al in the Box box set and also Greatest Hits Volume 2. Since you've been gone, Karaoke, I think that was on the and the Nice Santa went crazy. Those are both on the Bad Hair Day EPs. Spy Hard on the Gump EP. Oh, they also have the um, epic rap battle, uh, Sir Isaac Newton versus Bill Nye, where Weird Al plays Isaac Newton. The Comedy Bang Bang theme, when he uh, hosted the last season of Comedy Bang Bang. Hey Hey, We're the Monks, which was in um, Galavant, the ABC musical show. So, yeah, this is, this is cool. So you can only get this final with this box set. Let me close it up and open it on its side so you can see how it folds out. So, so there it is. The Weird Al Yankovic squeeze box. I'm excited. Um, I'm excited to throw on the 90s albums and early 1000s albums to listen on vinyl. But like I said, I already have um, the vinyls that have been released through the 80s and the last two albums. But no, this is really cool to have. And if you're a big Weird Al fan, definitely get it. But there you go. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to go listen to some Weird Al. <laughs>